So happy 2018 everybody, I am late. I am so late, I, I look around and then I hear Eminem dissed Joe Budden support, well subliminally dissed him, which is all the rage now with rappers nowadays, because we can't say a man's name. God forbid we say someone's name or else hell, hell will freeze over and everyone, everyone just loses their minds because we don't do that anymore. That's not what rap what is now, it's what it used to be. But apparently, Eminem dissed Joe Budden on this chloroseptic remix, and the man went off, as M tends to do, because he's M. I mean, you can't not go off when your name is Marshall Mathers. So he goes off on him, gives him bar after bar, but not by saying his name. But we all know who it is. For people who don't, or you're like, you're going to criticize, like, oh, I don't know what it is. We know who it is. And... Unfortunately, I have to side with Joe Button on this because you just don't get the right, you can't tell someone what they said is wrong and bad, their opinion is wrong. I mean, I mean, I say that, but they can't do that. If someone has a subjective opinion about something, you can't get angry at them because they don't like it. Even though I will admit Joe kind of went in on this, on that review. He he was like he decimated, it. he desecrated it. He he did not. He wanted no parts of this album. He wanted no parts of the singles. He he, he just he dismantled it in a way that a very harsh critic of Eminem, a reverse stand, would do. And that's probably why Eminem and people of his his ilk or someone of his ilk and his other people, they're finding like, issues with this. They're upset. They don't like what was said. And then they're like, then they go threaten to beat, and, beat Joe up and stuff. That's not necessary. We don't need violence over this situation. It, it always comes to violence. It doesn't need to come to that. He gave his opinion. His opinion was harsh, but you have to respect the man and salute to him for that because he's over here taking he's going out on a limb he's going against the person who basically pays for his light and gas bill he's saying something bad about him he could just kiss kiss everyone's ass and go around and be like oh it was great oh it was, but, but no he's not he's like i didn't like it i'm sorry it's and he talked about points that i and many others have said this was mishandled it sounds outdated it wasn't constructed properly four years four years from the greatest rapper in the world right now and the biggest rapper four years and this is what you come out with it was too politically targeted it was too it was all over the place people don't want to be on here and listen to a bunch of trump thing they don't want it we don't we go away for politics we don't want to hear that we come to you because we want to be entertained but now you've got the trump also so now we can't run away from it oh oh that's why everyone they they just didn't want any parts of this and unfortunately this is why it didn't sell well i like walk on water but that lead single wasn't good to i guess a good amount of people it's not what you lead an album release on he then the um untouchable which i I hated that. So I still don't like this. So even though it's saying something great, you can still say something great and be make a bad song. And then it's just the, it was mishandled. I don't know why this happened. I honestly don't know who dropped the ball. It's Shady Records. Was it Eminem himself? Was it Paul Rosenberg? Jimmy IV? All of you get in hell. But at the same time, you cannot get angry for Joe for giving that his opinion. A lot of people don't like Joe. I've never had problems with Joe. I like Joe. But do not give him criticism and do not beat this man's ass in Detroit or something because of this. Like, don't do that. Like, tell me what you want to, tell me what you think about it because I'm still in this and does not make me like Eminem any less. He's still one of my all-time favorites, but this, this, I'm sorry. It, it, Joe is right unfortunately and people who call him out on it and stuff and get it because he gave his opinion you should salute him he took a risk and he gave his true 
nobody gets, nobody's safe. Everybody gets the same treatment. That's the way a critic should treat their job. But tell me what you want to, tell me what you want to just discuss. Put in a comment below. Many more things coming. Man, I was late. I was late making this and some other stuff. But we got stuff coming. It's going to be great. You're going to see. Thank you for watching. I will holler at you later.